Alright, let's get straight into it. First of all, this isn't a tutorial on how to find matches for online games like Call of Duty. This is how to play couch call games or split screen games with your friends. Also, this isn't a tutorial on how to set up the PCSX2 emulator. I'll only be showcasing how to play co-op in this video. If you're looking for how to do the initial setup for the emulator, you'll want to look elsewhere. Anyways, I'll be going over two methods that worked for me. First method is more better for when precise inputs are needed for you and your friend, so games like Tekken 5 and Dragon Ball Z Budokai will be best here. The other is more internet based but is also a lot more stable. I suggest this one if you guys are playing story games like Crash the Titans or Ratchet Deadlocked. Okay, here goes. First things first, you'll want to download the PCSX2 Online Plus Netplay Alpha. This method is similar to the Dolphin emulator. Should note, it's also an older version of the emulator, so it's a lot more unstable. Dragon Ball Z Infinite World seems to work, however. Okay, once you go here, you'll want to download the zip here. After it's downloaded, you'll want to make a folder like so, and extract what's inside into the folder. If you can't seem to open the folder, either update Windows to the latest version, or download WinRAR. Now just launch the executable. Now this is where you would need to reset up your emulator if you have done before. Again, this isn't a tutorial for that, but a quick YouTube search can solve that for you, so I'm just going to skip past this. Okay, now we are in the emulator. Do your usual stuff. So for me, I go on graphics and scale the resolution by 3x, do your controller inputs, add in your game and make sure to select the ISO and select your memory card. Make sure your friend does the exact same stuff as well. Now you'll want to click system, boot netplay, and then click on host. What you'll want to do here is you'll need to port forward a port so that your friend can connect to you. I'll put a link in the description on how to set up a port forward since it's different for everyone as it's based on your router settings. Alright, I've went and port forwarded the port 25565. Why this number? Because it's also the port for hosting Minecraft servers. Kill two birds with one stone. Anyways, what you will now have to do is open up your browser and search what is my public IP. After that, copy your IP and send it to your friend. Note, the IP changes like every day. Before I go forward, I will show what your friend will have to do. So in the join section, he will just put the IP address you gave him and have the port you open in the host port section. Something I'd like to note really quickly is that if you are playing with someone who isn't 100% trustworthy or is a random, it's best that you mask your IP. For this, I'd recommend no IP. I'll put a tutorial in the description below. It's very simple to use. Once you set up the mask address, give them the customized IP address that no IP has made for you. Okay, now back to host settings. Now you just click launch, give it a second, then have your friend join. It should look something like this. Just some tips, if your game keeps crashing, try putting up the input delay. I think it gives the emulator more time to sync up both you and your friend's games. For me and my friend, we play around 3, and if both our internet connections are good, we play around 2. The lower the better, of course. And that's that. If this works, great. 
Uh, if not, you should try the second method, which is... Okay, this method is a lot more internet based, however, the emulator is also a lot more stable too since we are using a more up to date emulator. Firstly, you will want to download the latest nightly version of the PCSX2 emulator, link in the description below. Do the same stuff as you do when doing your first installation of PCSX2. Again, you can find videos all over YouTube for that sort of stuff. After that, you and your friend will want to download Parsec. Parsec is like screen sharing, but your friend can also use the keyboard and mouse, or in this case, an extra controller. Once you download, sign up and log into Parsec, you guys can then add each other on it, and after that, your friend should be able to see your PC and ask to join it. One more thing to note, in settings, you can change your settings to best fit you. If you have a slow speed, you might want to look up some tutorials for best settings on Parsec. Another thing to note for privacy concerns is the approved app section. If you're playing with randoms or people you just don't 100% trust, only approve apps that you would like them to see. So in this case, the PCX2 emulator, and when the game launches, you will also have to approve that as well. Once your friend is connected to you, check the bottom of Parsec to make sure the controller icon is on. After that, have your friend move around his controller. You should hear the USB connecting sound. Now you'll want to go back into the controller settings of the emulator and this time set up player 2. Have your friend link his controller keybind to the player 2 spot. Once that's all done, you can launch your game and you and your friend should be able to play whatever co-op game you wanted. Those are the two methods I use to play PS2 games cooperative online. Like I said before, the first method is more for fighting games where you don't want one person to have an advantage. The second method I use for more co-op story games where lag doesn't really matter, and since it's more stable, there will be less bugs and glitches. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video or tutorial, feel free to leave a like. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.